I'm not too fucking happy today. Matter of fact, it's a pissed off fucking day. My daughter decided to go out and get a fucking tattoo on the inside of her fucking finger. She's 20. 20 years old. What does she do for a living? She had a good Not fucking much. job. She had a good job until so, she uh, got caught talking on fucking Facebook at work, playing around on your fucking phone, which is uh, against all rules and regulations if you have a professional job. But that ain't the real situation we have. Because I'm going to show you the real situation we have for a 20 year old girl. Okay, going out in society, in the real world, to try to fucking do something. This, right here, okay, is the real fucking problem. Okay, those are tattoo needles right there, pal. Okay, this is a fucking tattoo that she got that I approved that she got one fucking tattoo on her shoulder. It got a little out of fucking hand, because now she's got another one on her shoulder, and now, what has she got? Show everybody what she's got. Go ahead and lay it out. She's got something written on her finger. Where? In, on the inside in of your her finger. Okay, I don't know hand? what it says. Okay, so when you go to shake a hand and make a friend First to get a job, what do you see? When you go to shake a hand and make a friend that you might want to meet a guy or a girl, what do you see? Tattoo. Okay. Let me tell everybody out there about fucking tattoos, because I'm a good example of it, okay? Of it, okay? You are judged by the way that you look. First impression of a person, by first glance, is how people will judge you until they get to know you, okay? Getting a fucking tattoo, okay, and I'm preferably talking about girls out there. Okay, getting tattoos when you're 18, 19, and 20, and trying to get into the professional world, and when I say professional world, I'm talking about going to fucking college and fucking getting a career in life. Not working at 7-Eleven, not working at haagen Doss cocksucker fuck ice cream store. Okay? Do you see what I'm trying to say, Minnie? Yes, Pete. Now, I just called my daughter, and I'm going to have to call her again. <laughs> And I just called uh, Tattoo Chris and told him he better not give my daughter another fucking tattoo. He says he didn't give it to her. She says she got it in California. Okay? So we'll call my daughter because you know what? After I cussed her out, I don't even know what the tattoo says. Hello? Are you there? Yes. Okay, what does your tattoo say? What exactly does it say on your fucking finger? It says, be sweet. Be sweet? Yeah. It says, be sweet. Now, if you got that in California, PJ's going to verify that you got it in California and not here, right? Uh, he doesn't know about it. He doesn't know about it? So spending all that time out there with PJ and uh, this, that, and the other, he's never seen your tattoo. But Minnie all of a sudden saw it last night. Now, I just called, let me explain something. I just called Chris, and I just cussed him out as well. Okay? If you plan on thinking you're going to go get another tattoo over Chris's, you can forget it. Okay, cool. Okay? Like, why are you? Doing this, like why am I doing it? Time. Because you're 20 years old trying to get a professional career in life. Okay, cool. If I didn't give a fuck about you, I'd say let's go to Chris's and get a full body tattoo. Okay, cool. Alright, let me ask you another question. What hand is it on? Your left hand or your right hand? On my right hand. Wow. Uh, ain't that I great? Put my finger on my right hand. Gee, ain't that great? Shake a hand and make a friend, huh? Shake a hand when you go get a job. Shake a hand when you meet a boyfriend. So everybody that shakes your hand is going to see the tattoo. And people that don't like the tattoo, that don't say out loud, I don't like tattoos because it's not tattooed on their forehead, are going to see your hand with a tattoo on it. 
Next time you get a fucking tattoo, you better, uh, not get it! Yeah, okay. I'll see you later. What's a caring dad supposed to do? Let her go out and, uh, start doing drugs? Let her go out and shoot some fucking needles in her arm and do some heroin? Oh, you think I'm fucking wrong, huh? Let me tell you something, pal. You don't know jack fucking shit. You know why? You know why? It's hard raising kids, sir. And if you want to raise them right, you better be on their fucking ass like white on rice. Okay? And you know what? In the long end, they're going to respect you for the way that you treated them. No, I am not treating my daughter or abusing my daughter. Okay? I am teaching her fucking lessons in life to grow up. And be somebody! I'm going to be very honest with you, okay? I would rather raise ten boys than one girl. Okay? Girls are manipulative, and girls will try to get away with anything they can't. That's just how girls are. Where are you going? And if you look right there behind us, that is a girl. So, remember that. I don't have to manipulate you. I just tell you like it is. Okay. Whatever. If it's a female creature in the world, whether it's your dog or your cat or the girl that you love or maybe your daughter. Beware, my friend. They are very manipulative. Am I right? Hello? Are you talking to me? Yeah, I am. I'm talking to you. Yeah, we do what we want. They think they do what they want. I'm going to give you a little advice. This is my friend Pete. Just let them talk. Let them, you know, act like they're doing something and agree with them and in the end it's going to be your way anyway take it easy we'll see you later have a great fucking day my day started out beautiful thank you very much Minnie. Hey. yeah what's up yeah, I didn't mean to cut you out, but, uh, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I didn't mean to cut you and holler at you like that, but, uh, I don't want Cynthia getting no more tattoos, dude. That's fine, B. If she wants, if she wants to get a tattoo, if she wants to get a tattoo, you tell her, go somewhere else. Because, uh, she needs to get her fucking career and her life together before she gets any more fucking tattoo. She got some bullshit tattoo on her fucking finger, dude. The inside of her finger goes all the way from her fingernail down to her the fucking, I don't even know it, it says, be sweet. Okay, what the fuck, you know? Who did it, you know? I don't fucking know who did it. She said she's had it ever since California. I think she's full of shit. She comes down. All right, I'm just telling you, dude. I really appreciate it. Sorry for cussing you out earlier. It's cool. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. You got to watch out for your kids, okay? Because if you ain't going to watch out for them, they definitely aren't fucking watching out for themselves. And believe me, in the long run, okay, when you're dead and gone, like I will be, okay, and my kids will uh, outlive my life, pray to God, okay? They will thank you for everything that you've fucking done. They might hate your guts now, and they might think you're a pile of shit, okay? But don't let that fool you, okay? The words of wisdom and the hand that fucking marks the spot will tell them that you were right and they were wrong. I don't give a shit how old they are, okay? You're the only one that can straighten their fucking ass out. This is Pete. Take it easy. See you later. Women, you can't live with them, and you can't live without them. Take it easy. Another fucking day in my fucking life, sir.